Hi again, Rampage fans. Dan Weiss for SARampage.com, along with the general manager, Mike Santos, who is in town. We are one month away from the start of another San Antonio Rampage training camp. And today, we're answering questions from you, the fans, as uh, you've put together a fan bag for the general manager. So a month out, and the fans are ready for hockey. Mike, so you ready? I'm, I'm ready. That's exciting to know that the fans are ready as well. So let's get kind of along the same lines. Uh, Cam from Toronto. It's good we have Rampage fans on north of the border. Uh, he wants to know what new players uh, are you excited to see this upcoming year in San Antonio? And I'm sure while you, uh, that goes along with the guys you just mentioned, there's some young up-and-comers that will be making their professional debuts uh, in the Alamo City this year as well. Right. Well, because of our success last year and our, and our success in the playoffs, we were able to bring in some of our new players at the end of last season. So the fans here in San Antonio and around the league got to see some of our top prospects, maybe a little bit Bit earlier than they would have so certainly uh, Quentin Howden who they saw in the playoffs uh, uh, you know a power forward who can really skate is it going to be exciting Drew Shore who was here at the end of the year center out of Denver is going to be a, a terrific player for us and a top prospect uh, Alex Petrick who came in and uh, was really uh, instrumental in our first round playoff series win last year against Chicago um, he'll be back and then you know from uh, from a veteran standpoint for uh, for our friends north of the border in Toronto we're gonna we're gonna add Andre DeVoe um, you know he will have a chance to make the Florida Panthers as will all of our guys but uh, but he's a guy that I expect to play some time here and uh, and be a real force and a, a real physical player and a big strong player up front as well as Jean-Francois Jacques um, you know I think those are really the additions to this club uh, the rest of the, the core of the team will be pretty much the same as, uh, as what fans saw at the end of last year. And potentially seeing a rise of some of the guys that were in Cincinnati that you talked about before, maybe a, a Jonathan Hazen or a Garrett Wilson or an Anthony Luciani who all spent uh, a couple of games here last year as well. Well, that's our hope. I mean, it's, uh, you know, it, it's uh, an open competition once training camp starts. Those are players that did play some games here last year. They're a little bit older, a little more mature physically and emotionally. And, um, you know, we're hopeful that they can make the jump if, if they do that that uh, I don't have any problems with uh, with our core you know defense all the way through forwards and goaltending okay uh, Jimmy from Converse uh, just outside of San Antonio uh, he has a question I think that's on the minds of a lot of hockey fans particularly in the American Hockey League uh, he wants to know how would a, an impending National Hockey League lockout affect both the American Hockey League and and in particular the San Antonio Rampage well obviously we hope that doesn't happen you know just uh, for the good of hockey but um, you know, the labor negotiations are ongoing. Things will take care of themselves. Um, in the meantime, though, uh, the work that, uh, that I've done and, and I've done with the coaches here over the summer, uh, it shouldn't affect our club uh, whether there is a work stoppage or not a work stoppage. Um, we'll probably have, uh, because of the work we've done, the pretty much the same lineup when it comes to opening night here in the uh, AT&T Center that we would have whether there was a lockout or, or not a lockout. So you'll see the same type of players here in the same lineup, whether there's a, a work stoppage or no work stoppage. Good to hear, certainly, for the fans. And, and the last question comes from Ed from Bernie, and it's more of a kind of a philosophical question. He wants to know, you know, in light of recent rule changes, is offense or defense more important in today's game? I think that's a tricky question. I mean, uh, I mean, ultimately, uh, you know, you need you need to be strong up the middle, and I think that means offensively and defensively. I mean, what you will need to do is obviously have strong goaltending, and then you know, the the play from your centers is really important because they're the ones uh, the one position on the ice where you know they really have an impact in your in your offensive zone, scoring goals, and in your defensive zone preventing goals. You know, your wings and, and your defensemen are important role, play important roles on your club as well, but I think if you're strong up the middle, both offensively and defensively, that you can make up for some mistakes that maybe hang, you know, ha happen along the walls. Great. Mike, thanks a lot for spending a few minutes with us and the fans. We look forward to the start of training camp here I, coming up in a month. I do too, Dan. It's going to be real exciting. I'm, I'm really uh, chomping at the bit to go after what happened last year. Well, thank you to the fans as well for submitting your questions. For Mike Santos, I'm Dan Weiss here for SARampage.com.